Randy, good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Let's go over our learning targets, please. Take a look at them, and then I'm going to ask a couple people to read them. Look at your learning targets. Check them out. All right. Um, Keely, can you read the first one for us? I can read and say... Same word is over above the board. Do you know what it is? Consonant. Consonant? Sounds. Sounds. Everybody. I can read and say consonant sounds. One more time. I can read and say consonant sounds. Next one. Jojo, read that for us. I can enter. I did. I can identify nouns in persons. And not you're very close in phrases. I can identify nouns and phrases. Everybody. I can, I can identify, identify nouns and phrases. And can everyone read this? Yes. I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story. Bud the Cat. What's the title of the story we're going to read? Bud the Cat. Bud the Cat. All right. I'm going to say some sounds for you to blend into words. Watch my mouth and watch my fingers. Ready? First word is bull. Ready? Bull. It. Lid. Lid. Good. The next word. Ah. Next word, j, a, m, jam. Next word, s, t, u, stew. Stew. What is stew? Like it's, it's like pasta. Not really a pasta. I guess like it might kind of have noodles soup. in it. It's a soup. It's yeah. a thick kind of soup. Has anybody ever eaten stew before? No. No. It's good. It's good. All right. Refocus. Sorry. Next word. Wait, wait just a minute. Listen to all four sounds. Risk. Risk. If you risk something, you take a chance on it. All right, next word. Look at me. Watch my lips. Spill. Next word. Watch my lips. Watch my lips. Watch my mouth. This one's got fun sounding it. Ready? Boy. Oh. Royal. Royal. What's the fun sound I'm referring to? Royal. Let's say it. Tap it with me. Royal. Tap it with me. Boy. Oh. Royal. Moving on to review our sounds. There's two kinds of sounds in our language. What are they? Vowels and consonants. All right. What do you remember yesterday from vowels? What can you tell me about? Oops. A E I O U. And they're A E I O U. But what can you tell me about when you say them? You have what about your mouth? Your mouth is bigger and Your mouth has to be open for your mouth has to be open for a vowel. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, and it gets bigger as you say the different sounds. It can get bigger as you say the different sounds. All right. What about when you call someone's name? When your mom calls you to come to supper. The vowels can be stretched out very long. Everybody say your name like your mom's calling you. Dad. You hear lots of long vowel sounds? Yeah. My mom used to say, Jamie. She didn't say, J -j 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 -j. 
She says, Jenny. Because vowels can be stretched out. They're made with an open mouth. All right, vowel sounds can be stretched. Let's say these vowel sounds. Ready? Everybody say, eh. Look at your friends at your table. Eh. Look at the shape of their mouth. You have on a mask, pull it down to your chin. Eh. Everybody say, eh. Everyone say, ah. Everyone say, ah. consonant sound but some don't. There's no consonant sound in this tricky word. What is this tricky word? I. I. Alright. Consonant sounds are made with parts of the mouth touching or momentarily closed. That means they close for just a second. The slow, this slows or stops the air from coming out of your mouth. I want you to say the sound or make the sound mm. Mm. is your mouth open or closed? Mm. Everybody say mm. You are so good. I promise it's awesome. When you say this sound, mm, mm, look at your neighbors. Mm, look at your people at your table. At your table. Mm, don't go sit up, please. The air stops. Where is the air coming out? Mm, where is it? It's coming out of your nose and not your mouth like it does with a vowel. All right. Alright, I want you to say the sound. Look at your friends at your table. Cars, will you put in my sound? Is your mouth closed or open? It keeps going open and closed. It goes open and closed. Where's the air coming out? Your mouth or your nose? Mouth. Your mouth now. Coming out your mouth. No, baby. Alright, make this sound. Make this sound. This sound. What is this sound? Not the, just. Is your mouth open or closed? Oh. Mostly closed. You've got air coming around your tongue and your teeth. Do you feel it? Feel it, Keely? Yeah. All right, so vowel sounds are made with an Open mouth and consonant sounds are either all the way closed or closed just a little bit. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. All right. Now, I'm going to try to sing happy birthday. Remember yesterday I sang it with only the vowel sounds? I'm going to try to sing it with only the consonant sounds. And are you ready? This one's harder. Yeah, it's a lot harder. No, no. Okay, ready? I'm going to try and I might just do a couple of phrases. Birth. 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 I would like for you to take out your five vowels out of your pencil box and place them on your desk, please.
the app where you can see them all. Oh. All right. One, two, three. All eyes on me. Everyone look at me, please. I'm going to say some sounds. You will hold up the car that matches the sound I make. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold up the sound, or hold up the picture for the sound. Ah. Ah. One, two, three. Ah. One, two, three. Ah. Show me the sound, or show me the picture for ah. Alright, put down off. Show me the picture for the sound of. Uh. Show me the picture for the sound of. Uh. Uh. Good, put down up. Uh. Show me the picture for the sound eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. Uh. Show me the picture for the sound. Ah. 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 Good. Put down ah. Victoria, are you missing a vowel? Yeah, I had You're missing a vowel. See if you've got it in the Show me the picture for the sound uh. What? You tricked us. I did trick you. Show me a picture for the sound uh. You tricked us. I did. I, I, I knew that. Show me the picture for the sound. I do. She knew that. She knew that. Ready? <coughs> Show me the picture for the sound ig. 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 All right, thank you. Now we're going to move on to the next level. Are you ready for the next level? Yeah. I'm going to say some words. The words all have three sounds, and the middle sound is going to be a short vowel sound or a vowel sound. And you're going to pick up. You're going to pick up the sound and show me the middle sound of the word I say. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. The first word is hop. Oh, oh, oh. Show me the middle sound, Nora. What's on the first? Hop. Where's your all? All right, put down all. Ah. Good job, guys. Show me the middle sound in the word shed. Shed. Alright, but now Jess, show me the middle sound in the word pin. 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 Good. Put down in and show me the sound in the middle of the word gum. 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 Put down uh and show me the sound in the middle of the word cat. 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 Put down at and show me the sound in the middle of the word that says bet. That is bet. Watch me and go and work with me. Bat, ready? Bat. Good. We had some eyes. We had some is. It kind of sounds like bat. Bat. It does sound like bat, one of our characters, but it's bat. All right, put down at. Hold up the vowel sound in the word top. Top. Good. 
put down ah. Victoria. Hold up the vowel sound in the middle of the word. One of my favorite things to eat. Chip. 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 There you go. Chip. All right, put down it. Show me the vowel sound in the word pat. Pat. Good. Put down at. Show me the vowel sound in the middle of the word uh. uh. Sorry. In the middle of the word hum. And I gave you the answer. Show me the uh sound. Uh. Put down uh. Show me the vowel sound in the word wet. 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 Put down F and last one. Show me the vowel sound in the word had. Had. All right, very good. Please put your five vowels back in your pencil box. So we've been talking about nouns, and Baylor just told us that a noun is a word that names a person, and then Bennett added that a noun is a word that names a thing. So nouns are persons or things. All right, a noun is a part of speech, and it's a person or a thing. You guys are right. All right, repeat after me, and then tell me what the noun is. Ready? Ball rolls. Your turn. Ball. What is the word? Which word is the noun? Ball. Balls. Nora, check the board. Are you right? Yeah. Is that, is that the beginning or the end of the phrase? The beginning of the phrase. All right. Next, next one. Big toe. Say big toe. Big toe. Big toe. What's the noun? Toe. Toe. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> All right, you ready? Technology. <laughs> Next one, big toe. Big toe. Big toe. What is the noun in big toe? Toe. 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 Next one, red books. What is the noun in red books? Red books. And fingers wiggle. What is the noun? Fingers. Fingers. All right. A noun can be at the beginning of a phrase, JoJo. Or at the end of a phrase. All right, listen to these two. Ready? Car starts. Which word is the noun? Car. Car. And next one. Oh, sorry. Boy. There's Big Toe. I knew it was there. Big toe. <laughs> All right, Toe was the noun. Red books, books was the noun. You got it. Fingers wiggle, what was the noun? Fingers. Fingers. All right, so a, na a noun can be at the beginning or the end of the phrase. All right, ready for another one? Yeah. Telephone rings, which word is the noun? Telephone. Telephone. Look at the board. Are you correct? Yeah. Is that at the beginning of the phrase or the end of the phrase? Yeah. The beginning. Next one. Red sunglasses. 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 Is that at the beginning of the phrase or the end of the phrase? Yeah. The end of the phrase. All right. What is the part of speech that names a person or a thing? A noun. It's a noun. What do we call a word that names a person or a thing, everybody? A noun. Thank you. Noun. 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 All right. We're going to read the book, Bud, or excuse me, the story, Bud the Cat, today. But I don't want you to get your books out. Victoria, can you sit up, please? We're going to be reading in our book, Snapshots. What has Beth taken snapshots of so far? Give me, raise your hand and tell me something Beth has taken a snapshot of. Shannon. Mom. 
She's taking a snapshot of mom. What's something else? Paisley. Uh, Zach. <laughs> Zach. Not Zach. Yeah, Zach. What's his name? Nat. Nat. Tell her friend Nat. Okay. What else? Uh, her mom took a snapshot of her when she was asleep. Where was she sleeping? On the jet. On the jet. On the plane. What else? The dog with the with the dog, with dog in its mouth. What else has she taken a snapshot of? Nat's mom and him holding a sign. Okay. Anything else? What else? Um, him catching a fish. Him catching a fish. Nat with his fish. What else? Riding a raft. Riding a raft. Thank you. I'm going to set this down here. All right. Where did Beth, Beth travel to with her mom in our story we read yesterday? Where did she travel? She traveled to um, the UK. She traveled to the UK. What does UK stand for? The United Everybody. Kingdom. The United, the United Kingdom. Kingdom. What are the letters for United States? U.S. U.S. United Kingdom. Remember, Beth traveled from the United States over to the United Kingdom. Victoria, why did she travel by jet and not boat? Because boats take longer. Boats take a long time, and her mom books them a flight. Everyone with hands in your desk, get them out, please. Out. All the way out. Thank you. Right. Who is Beth going to visit, Gabriel? Um, I'm going to visit Gabriel. Her friend Nat. Beth is going to visit her friend Nat. And, oh, Nat and Dot. Dot. Who is Dot? We just found out yesterday. Oh, it's Dot. It's his mom. mom. It's Nat's mom. And you're saying period for Dot? This is a period. You're right. And it is a Dot. But I was talking about the name Dot. The name Dot. All right. These tricky words are in our story today. Everybody look. Everybody look. Gabriel, look, because you don't need to know these. Josiah, right here. What is this word? Have. Have. Everyone say have. Have. What is this word? Said. 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 All right. I'm going to point back and forth at these words, and I want you to read them. We're going to practice real quick. Sit up, Victoria. Ready? Watch. Watch. What is it? Have. What's this word? Have. What's this word? Have. Have. I have said. What's this word? Have. 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 Have and said. Vocabulary today. One vocabulary word you need to know is vet. What is a vet? Raise your hand. What is a vet? Taryn, what is a vet? A vet is when you take care of animals. A vet is a person who takes care of animals. It's an animal doctor. That's who you take your doctor to. Like a, veterinarian. a veterinarian. Vet is short for the word veterinarian. veterinarian. That's exactly right. Oh, and Keely, can you make a can you make a connection with this vocabulary word? Oh, cast. Cast. Um, and Keely had a cast at the beginning of first grade. Do you remember that? Yes. That's a brace. She has a brace now, but when it was hard and wrapped up with tape, Junior, it was a cast. All right. So you need to know the words vet and the word cast today. All right. Um, 
We have read sentences that end with a period and end with an exclamation point. Do you agree? Yeah. What does it mean when you end a sentence with an exclamation point? It's Bennett? something exciting. Bennett? Something exciting. It's something exciting. It can be something good exciting or it can be something bad yeah. exciting. Like, <gasps> the house is on fire. That's a bad exciting. Oh, no. We're going to get ice cream. Oh. That's good exciting. Yeah. Alright, does anyone recognize this punctuation mark? Oh, yes! What is it? A question. It's a question mark. Have you seen that before in our chart over yes. here? Yes. yes, and these are all words that start what? With questions. Questions. Those are all words that we find up with a question mark. at the beginning of questions. A question mark is used at the end of a word where there is a question, and you will see a question mark in today's story. We're going to read to learn today about Bud the Cat. Today. First, you get your book out in a minute. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. All right, Bud the Cat. I'm going to read the story straight through first and then we'll read back through and I'll ask you some questions. Victoria, can I have your attention up here, please? Thank you. All right, Bud the Cat. What do we know about these words right here? They're bubble eyes, not using the sun. <laughs> they're, they're bubble eyes. What do we know, Victoria, about these words? They're bigger and darker. They're bigger and darker, and they are at the where on the page? At the top. At the top, and they're in the middle. What does that mean that is? Uh, it's, it's really high. What is that? The title. It's the title of the story. The title of the story is Bud the Cat. Sit up, Nora. This is a snapshot of Nat's Cat Bud. Nat got Bud from a vet. Bud had a bad leg. The vet had to fix Bud's leg. Bud had to sit in a box with a cast on one leg. Then Nat said, Mom, can I have him? Can I? Can I? Can I? Dot said, Yes. What did she say? Yes. She said yes. Because it's cute. Yes, because it is cute. It is cute. What's all right, so we're going to reread again and you're going to read with me. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so read with me. This is a snapshot of that cat bud. What can someone tell me about this apostrophe S here? Oh, I'm going to call on someone. What can you tell me about apostrophe S right here? What does that mean? Keely, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Matt's cat. What does the apostrophe S mean? Matt's cat. cat. What does it? What does the apostrophe S tell us? Uh, it's an apostrophe S. Yes. What does that tell us? What does that show us? Who does the cat belong to? Nat. Nat. Can we sing our song for Miss Mandy? Yeah. Apostrophe S. Yes. Apostrophe S. Yes. It shows the things that we possess. That's cat. That's cat. The cat is Nat. <laughs> That's electric company. Old school electric company. All right, read with me one more time. 
This is a snapshot of Nat's cat Bud. Nat got Bud from a vet. I need everyone sitting up facing forward, pencils in parking lots. Eyes on the board. Sit up, Junior. Sit up, please. Thank you. Nat got Bud from a vet. Read with me. Bud had a bad leg. The vet had to fix Bud's leg. What does that apostrophe S mean? Who does the leg belong to? Bud. belongs to Bud. Alright, refocus. Refocus. Read with me, everyone. Do I need to make these bigger for you, Logan, or you guys in the back? Do you need the words bigger? Can you see them, Taylor? Can you see, but Logan, can you see? Yes? Okay. All right, here we go, everybody. Bud had to sit in a box. I'm not getting any help. With a cast. On one leg. Then Matt said, Mom, can I have him? Can I? Can I? Can I? And Dot said, Yes. Raise your hand if you see a question sentence in this in this part or on this page. On this page, Knox, what question did Nat ask? He asked, Can I own? He said, Can I have, have him? And what did mom have to do? If he asked a question, she has to give a what? An answer. An answer. Mom, can I have him? And then she must not have answered fast enough because then he said, Can I? Can I? Read with me. The vet had to fix 
All eyes on the board, please. Victoria, eyes on the board. Do you see this strip right here? Yeah. It's the same size as the ones you're going to cut out. You're going to put number one here, and then what goes up here, do you think? A picture. A picture. So this will be your picture. And this will be your strip of words, your sentence. There's number one, number two, number three, and number four. You're going to cut your strips, your four strips, throw away your scraps, being very careful not to throw away any of your sentences. You're going to glue them in order and draw a picture for each. Okay? Alright, so go ahead and cut. 